Hello everyone and welcome to the 31st PHP tutorial in my series of PHP tutorials. This, all of this, was what we did in the last tutorial. And um, this basically uh, said in a short way, stores the user's login information in a um, <coughs> table called temp because this is a temporary table and then once he clicks the link in his email he will uh, his information will not only be stored in the temp table but also in the um, <coughs> users table and the reason we have this temp table is so that people have to confirm their email first because we could do this very short and just say insert into users but in that case people could just register a lot of accounts just to spam so um, that's why we got this temp thing so they have to confirm their email because you know not a lot of people want to create like a lot of a lot of accounts and verify their email in sing in each and every single account so that's why we got this temp thing and um, now we're going to test for another thing you see this um, insert result right here that um, performs this query that will insert the data in the temp table. So now we need to test for if this actually if this action actually happened. So we say if insert result, and this basically means that okay, if you successfully inserted this result, do this. But before we do this, we're going to add a, an else statement. And that else statement is going to kill the process, print it on the screen, and say did not send confirmation email. And um, <clears throat> now we're going to say what should happen if you actually inserted the, these records into the uh, temp table. Well, in that case. We're going to send you an email. So create a variable called message and set it equal to your confirmation link. Now add this. Oops, I'm sorry. Add this. <coughs> I'm sorry, my uh, voice is a little rusty right now. I just got off from bed. <coughs> oh, yeah, sorry. And um, now you add this message dot equals click on this link to activate your account. And um, what the dot after message means that this, what we got right here, is an add-on to this string right here. And uh, the meaning of this is that, well, uh, in a second we're going to say, okay, send a link with uh, this title and uh, with this content. And um, to avoid having like a lot of strings, because you know, if we um, if we didn't put this dot afterwards, message right now. Okay, as I was saying before, we get interrupted by my mother. By putting this dot behind message, this means that this string right here is an add-on to this string, and um, that's because that when we're going to send this email, we're going to say, okay, send it to what email address? Say, set a give it what title and finally what content and the content of course is going to be this variable message so in order to only have one variable because if, if you put message right now then it's going to say okay so now only put your confirmation link in the um in the email because the then this is um because you don't it's kind of hard to explain, okay? If you don't put this dot behind message, well, then you'll think that we are declaring two variables called message, and of course we'll get an error for that. So we're saying that, okay, this string, 
message dot is an add-on to this string so that we can avoid having a variable called message one, message two, and so on. So that's why I put this dot behind message. Okay. Finally, I got it explained. And then now we're going to do the same thing again. Message dot equals. And now what we're going to put is the link that the user is going to click, and that is HTTP www.phpyoutube.netney.net slash con oops sorry slash confirmed dot php question mark passkey equals Confer confirmation code and um, of course replace this php youtube.netney.net with your net address I mean like if you um well you should know what I mean replace this name and if you got another domain change that too so we're saying okay this uh, will transfer you to this link uh, HTTP, you know, www.phpyoutube.netnet.net slash confirm the PHP. And I know we haven't made that file yet, but we're going to do in my next tutorial. So we say, go to this file in this web address, and um, in there, in this file, ask for this variable passkey, and this variable passkey will be created in that file. And then we are asking PHP for Okay, in this file, confirm PHP is the variable pass key in there equal to the confirmation code. And the confirmation code is that uh, random and unique set of um, letters and numbers you got right here. And uh, now finally, we only need one more thing, and that is to mail this information. So say create a new variable called sent mail, set that equal to mail. And mail is a built-in PHP function, and of course, um, this uh, method uh, or function mail needs some uh, arguments. Three actually. The first argument is the email address you want to send to, and that is the variable email that we got right here. And uh, the next one is the title that is registration confirmation. And finally, we need the content of this email, and that is message. And because of that dot between no after message, all of this is myth is message. So all of this will be included in the email. And um. Now, finally, I guess we only have one more thing to do, but I'm afraid that cannot be in this tutorial because I think it might already has gone too long. So um, I'll see you in my next tutorial, and if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you.